All right, so planes. So basically, we are already aware of what planes are. All points lie on a plane. When we used to curve sketches, or, or when, sorry, when we used to sketch the curves um, or any straight lines, they used to be on the x-y plane. And we used to have two coordinates, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. Um, but in three-dimensional plane, that's x, y, and z, we have three coordinates. And all points lie on a particular plane. So the equation, to form the equation of the plane, let's say uh, we have a line over here on the plane right so we have a line on the plane we have a fixed point a and we have a variable point r now the distinguishing feature of every plane is its normal now what's a normal normal is basically a special um, a unique vector of every plane and it's the vector that creates a 90 degrees angle um, of a, at a 90 degrees angle on the plane so the norm, a normal will always create a 90 degrees angle on the plane so I can form my vector equation I can form the vector equation of the plane by writing down the vector a r right and now um, when two vectors uh, uh, when two perpendicular vectors are dotted together the result is zero since over here normal is one vector and AR is my other vector and if I dot AR with the normal the result should be zero because these two vectors are perpendicular now now to form AR this will be OR minus OA now OR as I said is my uh, variable, vec variable point and OA is the position vector of a fixed point on the plane. Now I can write this as R minus A dot the normal equals to zero. And now simply R dot N minus A dot N equals to zero. And finally, I get my vector equation of the line r dot n equals to a dot n. This over here is the vector equation, sorry, vector equation of the plane, not the line, the plane. Now, yeah, so r is unknown, normal is basically. The, uh, the normal is basically a vector that I know a is a fixed point and n uh, is my normal so when I so when I dot two vectors I will get a scalar result so this over here will be equals to d now d over here does not have any geometrical meaning um, it does not really it's just a scalar result if however if I write this as r dot n equals to a dot n and I divide both sides by the modulus um, the magnitude of the normal I will get D this basically will be um, r dot unit vector of n equals to d. Now the small d over here is the perpendicular distance um, from the from a point to the plane. So basically the uh, it could be any point but it's the d the small d over here um, represents the perpendicular distance to, to the plane. This capital D um, sorry this capital D over here does not have any geometrical meaning. So in conclusion the vector equation of the line is r dot the normal. The normal is represented as a, b, c equals to d. That is the uh, scalar, pro scalar product of, sorry, uh, the scalar result of a dot n. This is my vector equation and if I have to write the Cartesian equation this will be x a plus y b plus zc equals to d. 
This is my Cartesian form of the line of sorry of the plane. This over here is the Cartesian form, and this over here. is the vector equation of the plane so this is all about um, planes and the next video we'll start uh, we'll involve planes um, and see uh, how to solve questions that involve planes